hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and in today's video i am going to be doing my hair which i have already started so i'm doing these uh french braids which i started last night and the color that i used here is one slash 30. this is the um left over from my last video that i did about a year ago and um this was the left over and this time i really wanted them to be very thin because they can get like really really heavy i wanted them to be thin but also like have the curl effect and not too full and this is how far i gotten um like i said i only did this last night i just came from the hair shop and unfortunately they didn't have this uh brand the darling one and not even anywhere close to this color so <laughs> what i got is totally different but it's still like this french curl situation so the one that i got is maisha french curl braid and they kind of look the same to be honest they look like this it's just that i think the darling have like the six bundles but this one has four um kind of looks the same and the color <laughs> the color that i got is c13 which is very different from like what i'm normally do and i feel like these ones are long so it's like an ombre and then up here i think it's kind of like number one and it gets to like number two four and then it just becomes white yeah i'm hoping it will blend well with what i already have yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and continue braiding my hair until i get to the front and then i'll show you guys um how i am braiding it but yeah this is the hair i'm using and as for the product i did moisturize my hair after washing it like a few days ago but now i'm just using only the um iso plus holding gel on my parts just to make them clean yeah that's all i will catch up with you guys when i get to the front back after finishing like most of my hair and i'm left with i think two lines here in the front so it's about six braids but this is how they are looking so far and i am i'm running into a little bit of a problem because um i don't know if it's because of the color like it's getting really really tangled this uh blonde one is getting like super tangled so i just started going back and braiding it like all the way down and it seemed to be working and it's actually lighter this way so i'm gonna have to go back and finish braiding everything all the way to the ends like i'm just leaving about an inch left down here but it's still curled and nice less tangled because this is very very tangled and heavy like look at this i can't even untangle this i just thought i should come here and finish finish braiding first and then i'll go back and sort that out so this is how much hair is left and i'm just gonna part this in half I'm taking my edge gel on my retail comb and i'm going to put this on my part and i'm also going to push it up a little bit so that everything can be like coated and nice and smooth and i did leave out my edges all the way around in the front here and just go ahead and start parting my hair i think i think i might have to do four and then taking my braiding hair these ones i'm actually just going to braid all the way down and not apply glue and just um let them be so just braiding like normal um and then separate this hair like you see even braiding with this hair it it's like very annoying because it gets tangled so easily so i have to always keep my scissors i just keep continue braiding like 
how I normally do box braids so I'm just gonna braid it like all the way until I get to the end it's actually kind of like easy to braid because it's very silky in a way it's not like um, tough but the tangling is the problem so that's what I'm saying like I don't know if it's because of the color because as you know like blonde hair like very processed hair gets really really tangled um, but I don't know if it's the color or if it's the brand uh, but once I'm done with it it actually looking really really nice because like look at these ones they're looking really really nice and they're also like still held down here and they're not like unraveling which is nice so I'm just gonna have to go back and finish everything to like the same um, length because I do want to keep this hair on for at least four weeks I do have a photo shoot coming up um, in like two days <laughs> for my website um, that I am going to share with you guys like next week once everything is done and ready. Um, so I started a clothing line a um, few months ago. It was winter here in South Africa and I started making winter coats which people really really like and i posted them on instagram and people were ordering and stuff so i thought why not just go ahead and make spring summer outfits as well and so i haven't released them <laughs> they're gonna be released next week hopefully so the website is done it's ready all the items that are made they are done and ready i'm just trying to finish doing my hair so i can take um nice pictures and go and upload them on my website and then launch it but i will do maybe like a try on and show you guys like all the items that i am selling like really really excited about this um clothing brand that i am that i've started and i'll also show you guys like things that i sold so and i do want to share with you guys because i started sewing here on on, on youtube actually the first items that i made i shared them with you guys so i will come back and show you guys everything and tell you more about my brand so yeah i'm just gonna continue and you guys can just watch and as you can see my hair is like stretched <laughs> Uh, if you didn't watch my last video, I did blow out my hair using a blowout relaxer, which made it a little bit stretched, like longer. Um, it doesn't even look relaxed at all. It's just perfect. It's soft, it's manageable, uh, but it's still afro. So I'm loving that. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish all this hair and you guys can just watch and i will catch up with you once i am done
so i am back it's actually the next morning now my hair is done this is how it's looking it's actually much better now like it actually looks much better now and i feel like the colors are blending really really well they are looking really really pretty so i will stand and show you guys like so this is the back i'm gonna take my iso plus um hairline and edge control which looks like this and a little edge brush and i'm going to um lay this down And I'm going to take this uh, Perfect Touch Curling Mousse, Curl Defining Mousse. I've had this for years and it's still like full. I never use it, so I thought I should just give it a try because I never use it. And it's just been sitting in my bathroom. Ooh, like this much. And I'm going ooh, to apply this on top here just to get any like uh, flyaways laying down. Ooh, and this thing dries quick it's not like normal um styling mousses that we normally buy and i'm also gonna add some more on the bottom here because it says curl defining um so i'm wondering if it will help with the curls down here And I'm just pushing them up. Oh, look at that. It's actually working well. Can I do some more this side? I am actually really really loving it i love that it's very very light on my head i don't really like big braids and it's so breathable i love the parting it's so clean and nice and my hair is actually blending really really well even though it's like still short but it's blending really really well very very long i'm trying to pull them up but yeah anyways it looks really really pretty i love them so yeah this is the final result so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you've been already and i'll see you guys on the next one